Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is take our wooden logs and for this um, particular sort of structure I'm also going to show you how to sort of incorporate it into each wall segment so I'm actually going to go one two three four five across then place a block from the one that I've already got and then I'm actually going to go one two three four five again and place a block like so so I've got three segments lined up then we're going to go one two three four five six seven place a block turn the corner place uh, go across five then place a block so we're in line with this nice little rectangle then we're going to bring each of the pillars up by two three four five so they're up by four so they're five blocks high with a chisel stone brick on top and we do that with all of the pillars going around like so then we can take our stone bricks place a line of stone bricks behind the pillars so they're six blocks high like so then we're going to take our cobblestone do a line of cobblestone a line going up so it's in line with the top of the wood and go across and up the other side like so we can then place in two fences going up from the bottom with a block in the center like so then an iron bar on top of that block and an iron bar on the top with two cobblestone either side and then red hardened clay behind each of the iron bars like so now i'm going to quickly replicate that same design to this other side you do the same and i'll be right back to you Okay, so once you've got that wall in, what you can also see that I've actually added in the wall segments for uh, this sort of section here. And now what we're going to do is add in this sort of fine area of detail. So I'm actually just going to make sure I've got everything. There we go. And for this, we're going to be placing a stair facing towards sort of um, the pillar here. We're then going to be placing a block with a wall on top. One, two, three. Uh, blocks then we're going to take I knew I'd forget something we get then going to take the cobblestone slab place it on the end cobblestone slab on the second block along and then two blocks followed by a stair here with an upside down stair behind it pointing towards the pillar and mirroring the bottom stair then an upside down stair with a cobblestone wall on top and a cobblestone stair on top of that like so and then once you've got that in you want to be replicating it to the other pillars so they're pointing outwards towards the edges um, of the land so i'm going to quickly go around and finish off the rest of those pillars you do the same and i'll be right back to you okay so once you've got all of those pillar detailings in what you can then do is take your stone bricks and we're going to start off by putting a layer of stone bricks along the bottom up the side along the top up the other side like so and then we're going to start breaking it down a little more so we also want to be placing stone brick layer on top um, going along here so next to the chisel store in line with the chisel stone below it you want to be removing this block placing a right way around stair then an upside down stair then another right way around stair on the opposite side with a cobblestone wall below them and two slabs below the cobblestone wall and a slab below the upside down stair you want to be placing stone brick wall uh, stone brick sorry on top of the center of stone brick with a stair on either side facing towards the stone brick you then want to be placing one two blocks with a slab on the end two blocks with a slab on the end then down the center it's one two three blocks with a slab on the end a slab in the center block here with a block on the end to sort of neat uh, go in line with the center um, up, upper area we can then place in an upside down stair a cobblestone wall and then a stair on top 
do that both sides like so we can then place in a stair and a stair at the bottom below those right around stairs like so we then take our cobblestone bricks or stone bricks sorry go two up either side like so take cobblestone stairs place an upside down stair next to the right way around stair that we have on the pillars with a slab underneath like so then an upside down stair a block and another upside down stair with finally yep just to check a slab in the center in line with these two upside down cobblestone stairs so once you've got that you want to be replicating that same design to each individual wall section you have in this case i've got three so i'm going to go ground and copy it to these three walls now i'm going to go around and do that you do the same and I'll be right back to you. You've got each of the wall detailing in for the actual sort of cobblestone areas. What you can then do is start adding in a bit more detail. So we're going to go to the bottom of this. And we're just going to make an outline going around the bottom part of the wall. Just to give it a bit more sort of foundation as, as it actually goes into the ground so we'll just go around and we'll cut off the corner there so we can go around and do it to the other side as well so we go round and this just makes the building look like it's been actually uh, built into the ground instead of um, sort of placed on top if you sort of understand what I mean like so now once you've done that what you can then do is go to the top of the structure we're going to take our spruce wood and we're going to place a spruce wood here just behind the chisel stone then we're going to go two three up then go in front of the chisel stone go one two three up chisel stone brick chisel stone brick spruce wood go to the bottom place a spruce wood with a stone brick slab beneath it and a button on top of that or in the front face sorry with an upside down stair and a cobblestone wall on top of that and then we want to do that to each of these chisel stone um, areas now i'm going to quickly go around and do all of them you did the same and i'll be right back to you all of those are in what you can then do is take your cobblestone wall and you're going to place a cobblestone wall on top of the upside down cobblestone stairs and the center slab that we've placed earlier place a slab on top of each of those and then actually i might have done this wrong because you also need to add in an upside down stair next to it so it might have been better to place a brick first then do an upside down stair then in the slab add in the slab on the end like so you then want to be placing an upside down stair with a cobblestone wall on top upside down stair with a cobblestone wall on top on the, and the pillars aligned with the chisel stone you can then take some spruce wood and we're going to place two spruce wood two spruce wood then another cobblestone um, wall with a stair underneath upside down stair cobblestone wall then two blocks two blocks then a slab with a cobblestone wall then two more logs on top of them like so and then once you've done that you want to be copying that same design to your other sections um, of sort of wall panels now i'm going to quickly go around and do that you do the same and i'll be right back to you okay so once you've got all of those bits of framing what you can then do is to fill in any little gaps you can take your slabs and in between each of these wall um cobblestone walls you want to be placing and a slab on the bottom half of the block on each of the sort of balcony areas like so and then once you've done that you want to be taking your blue hardened clay now we're going to do the roof in a few different sections starting with this front part so for this we're going to be placing on the upper half of the block we're going to be placing two blocks going up 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 and then on top of the um cobblestone wall on top of the um, upside down stair we're going to be placing two blocks like so then we take the light blue hardened clay we place in two blocks from the upper half of the um, two blocks we placed before going up and down like so so we have this bit of purple or bit of 
blue hardened clay showing just around here. And then on the chisel stone, we place in two blocks. And then on top of each of the wooden piece of frame, we place two blocks going up and round like so. We then replace the top two. So this one and this one with a light blue um, stained clay. And then once you've done that, you just want to be copying that same design to these other, uh, to your other bits of uh, roof framing. So as you can see, I've got three to do, so I'm just going to go around and add three. You quickly do the same, and I'll be right back to you. Okay, so once we've got those parts of the roof in, what we can then do is take our blue hardened clay. And where we have the chisel stone bit here, we're going to place two, and then two in between those two sections there. Then bring the blue stay clay round the corner like so followed by bring them up and then we're not exactly going to go round with this one but we are going to be placing in three here with one on top here then two then one then two because we're going to be going round again like so two on top here we then take our blue stained again and we're going to go two across here to make this three then two across to make it three, three, four, five across, then th uh, five on top, then two to make it three, and then we can just finish up this side as well. So we place in two, two, round the corner, like so, then round the corner with one layer, then round the corner, and leave a gap then two then two and then the top here we're going to be placing two then down and then back up and then we place two five two and then the light blue on top like so so once you've done that you want to be replicating that same design to the rest of these um, wall section so I'm going to quickly just fill in these so we're done for this tutorial so I'm going to quickly go around and do that you do the same and I'll be right back to you okay so once you've done all of the rooftop parts what you can then do is go into the inner part of the actual structure I'm going to start off by placing a block here because that just completes the three section here we then place three blocks in front of each pillar or two if you're at the end like so oops on there as well we then fill all the rest of the floor in with cobblestone blocks, like so. And then what you can also do is take your spruce wood, place two, two, and one, two, two, like so. Lined up with each of the pillars. going round oops like so and then just like we had going around here we can place in a wall with an upside down stair or a uh, stair with an upside down wall then a uh, wall with a slab underneath then a wall with an upside down stair wall with an upside down stair and we can do that on each of these sections just to give the inner part of the structure a little more detail going around each of the actual wall segments like so until they're all placed in like that and then what I found is if you want to improve the structure a little more, then what you can do is replace the flooring with cobblestone slabs to basically give the structure a bit more of a depth to it so the actual flooring doesn't look as flat. And you can do this with a lot of different structures 
just to improve the sort of depth of the structure. Going around. Until the floor is filled in. Like so. Which has made the structure a hundred times better. Just with a slightly different depth between the floor and the outlining on the floor. Now that is pretty much it for this tutorial. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed. Remember to leave a like, subscribe and leave a comment. And also tune in next time. We'll be working on a bit more of what um, is sort of involved with a fantasy wall. Now thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.